Hello students, I am Marco Severo. This is the Marketing Analytics course. We are inside the practical activities and we are talking about central tendency measures. In the last lecture, I discussed the mean and median and we analyzed the relationship of these measures using the Big Six studio data. We are going to follow in this discussion because it is important to understand the difference between mean and median and the relationship between them and the implication to the, uh, to the distribution of the entire data that you have in your data set. After a brief discussion, we are going to observe how they work inside the marketing analytics framework using again the Big Six Studio data. So there are two main important central tendency measures in statistics and for marketing analytics. And the first moment of statistics is the mean. is usually uh, generated to observe how a quantitative variable behaves in related to its central tendency. And the formula for the mean is quite, it's quite easy. You have to sum the entire values of a given variable, for example, in this case is an X variable, could it be a Z variable or else, and divide for the number of observations. So you are generating a new information from the data set you have, okay? This is the mean. And the difference between the mean and the median is that the median is not necessarily a new observation. It's just the observation that is, that is in the half of the distribution. Okay. Uh, if, you have, uh, if you have an even uh, uh, number of observations will be in the center of it, and you have a pair, a uh, number of observations, it will be the mean of the two observations that are in the center of the data distribution. They are, it is important to understand the relationship between the mean and the medium because how they are organized inside the data set is going to delineate the distribution you have. Okay. So the most known relationship between the mean and the median is that when they are equal, and usually when they are equal, you have a symmetric distribution like the normal distribution. Sometimes the median can be uh, higher, uh, can be lower than the mean. So in this case, you have an as asymmetric skew distribution to your right. Uh, and sometimes uh, the median is higher than the mean. And in this case, you have a skewed uh, left, an asymmetric left distribution. Another important, another important uh, central, ten central tendency measure is the mode. So the mode is the, no, is the observation that appears the most inside uh, your data set. So in the case for the symmetric distribution, the mode is equal to the means and e equal to the mean and equal to the medium. And we can observe that because you have a peak right here. So uh, if, you, if, you analyze, if you analyze this is an... Uh, 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 vertical and horizontal axis, you observe that this is the observation that uh, it appears the most inside the data set or something like that. So this is the mode. Uh, and these are the relationship between the central tendency measures, okay? Now that you have, now that you have analyzed this and the relationship between them, let's see how uh, they behave in the software using a marketing analytics data set, okay? So what I am going to do, I'm going to open Gretel, and I'm going to open the same data set 
that we used in the last lecture, which is the Big Six Movies Studio, okay? Uh, so these are the variables, and I'm going to analyze the word gross revenue uh, variable. First, I'm going to generate some summary statistics, so you have to right-click with your mouse and then go to summary statistics. And now we are going to observe uh, the mean and the median values of this variable. So it's clearly a quantitative variable and an asymmetric uh, distribution because the mean is higher than the median. Okay, so if we go back to the slides, so the mean is higher than the median. So it's this, it's this case, is that right? So it's clearly this case. But we want to see uh, we want to see how it's behave how it behaves in a graph. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to click with uh, the right button of my mouse, and then we are going to click on frequency distribution. And here you you just let it ticked, show plot, and click on OK. See, this is clearly an asymmetric distribution. Uh, where uh, where the mean is higher than the median. We can have further insights about the level of skewness of your variable. For example, uh, let's compare this uh, this variable. I'm going to let this here. The summary statistics of work gross revenue. And I'm going to compare with audience, with Rotten Tomatoes score. Okay, I'm going to double click here. So it's, uh, it's a, an average score for each movie. Okay, so if I generate, I'm going to close, uh, click with my right button, uh, with the right button of my mouse, click on summary statistics, and I'm going to see that this is a more limited variable. Is that all right? Because I have a minimum variable, a minimum value of zero, a maximum value of 99, and the mean is 52, and the median is also a 52. So this is more a symmetric, okay, variable. We are going to see this behavior in the graph. <coughs> I'm going to. Uh, right click with my mouse and frequency distribution and OK and now we see that this graph is more symmetric than the other one we have lots of mode modes here which are evaluations that appears frequently and this is the relate relative frequency now uh, in this case is varying between 0 and 0.7 percent inside a data set so we have lots of modes in this case that that is why the graphic is like this. How can I compare them in terms of symmetry? So the word gross, uh, the word gross variable, it has a skewness of 3.4. And the rotating tomatoes variable, I'm going to click with my right button and summary statistics. And here the skewness is minus 0 0.03, so it's significantly slower than the, the word gross revenue. Okay, so uh, I wanted to show you this before going to dispersion me measures and statistics, which is also relevant for our analysis. Thank you very much.